when things like this happen, when we come together, I really believe that it's the right people at the right time in the right place. So whatever it is you're feeling, whether you have doubts, hesitation, excitement, big full hearts, whatever it is you're bringing into this room, whatever your experience is, please feel 100% welcome to be here. We're really thankful that everybody has shown up in this amazing way. I look forward to your contributions to bring about peace in the region. I got a place in this game, I got a room in the park, and I should not be moved out, Rosa Parks. We'll be seeing a lot of each other during this amazing, amazing day of dialogue, of reflection, of meditation, and of imagining peace. Hi, I'm Maggie Flowers. I'm a senior at Loyola Academy. And I wrote a very short essay about the gun violence in Chicago. It truly breaks my heart to know that so many of my peers will never breathe another breath or smell another beautiful smile because of the misuse of handguns in our city. So this morning, I'm asking that all of you join me in raising awareness and doing your part to help save lives and decrease gun violence. I still have hope. This, this gathering itself is an indication that somehow we have not given up on peace and that all of us are trying to find ways to uh, have peace, whether it's personally, within our family, and within society at large. As Adam has said, uh, I'm very much interested in how we can approach peace from the human point of view, uh, the original peace or some kind of inner peace, and how that has a direct effect on society. Innately or inside, as human beings, we want to have a sense of peace. There is a sense of um, innate strength. And I like to look at it that innate peace is really uh, respecting our own sense of who we are and our own worthiness as a person. It allows us to respect others in terms of 